fracture. The fracture is reduced and held reduced with the pointed reduction forceps. Approximately four centimeters distal to the fracture line, a hole is drilled through the ulna with the two millimeter drill using the sharp drill guide. Through this hole, we introduce a one millimeter surclage wire in which a loop has been made. During surgery, cloth gloves are worn over the surgical gloves in order to guard against glove perforation. Using the drill guide, the first 1.6 millimeter Kirshner wire is introduced through the point of the olecranon, parallel to the shaft of the ulna and as close as possible to the joint. After drilling of the anterior cortex, it too is pulled back one centimeter. The Kirshner wire is now cut obliquely using the wire cutters. We use the drill guide with one of its holes over the already placed Kirshner wire in order to introduce the second 1.6 millimeter Kirshner wire in parallel fashion. After drilling of the anterior cortex, it too is pulled back one centimeter. The second Kirshner wire is similarly cut in an oblique fashion using the wire cutters. We now wrap the surclage wires around the two parallel placed Kirshner wires in figure of eight fashion. Following this, we unite the two wires with a twist. In clinical practice, the wire is passed deep to the triceps tendon, just next to the bone. The wires are then cut short. By tightening both loops with two pliers, the two fragments are drawn together such that the fracture is placed under compression. The twist provides for the symmetrical wrapping of both wire ends, one around another, under constant tension. Only in this way does the twist maintain the tension. The twists are shortened and bent with a gentle twisting pulling motion so that they lie upon the shaft of the bone. With the wire bending pliers, the Kirshner wire is bent to 180 degrees. Following this, the bent Kirshner wire is hammered into the olecranon over the tension band wire as shown. The identical procedure is performed for the second Kirshner wire. With a correctly constructed tension band, tension forces from the pull of the triceps are transformed into compression forces at the fracture site, as shown here.